the 20th of October, is a significant date in our history because in 1952, this was the day that a state of emergency was declared on our land by the colonizers and hundreds of our founding fathers were arrested. But when our founding fathers, led by the likes of Mzee Jomo Kenyatta, Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, Paul Ngei, Masinde Muliro amongst others, overcame the darkness of the emergency period, a new order emerged. They had a three-point agenda that resonates to date. They declared war on ignorance, poverty, and disease. And today that war is still on. It is a war we have inherited and a war that shall also bestow on future generations. The commitment, as declared by our forefathers, is a sacred obligation today, and it is so from one generation to the next. Mzee Jomo Kenyatta, representing the Founding Fathers, had this to say on the task at hand. And he said, and I quote, that our children will learn about the heroes of the past, but our task is to make ourselves the architects of the future. This is a challenge he posed not only to his generation, but to all Kenyan generations to come. Each generation must not focus only on past heroism, but it must also continuously strive to be the architects of their own brighter future. For us to become architects of the future, we must begin by protecting what was left behind to us by the heroes who liberated this country. And in particular, we were charged with a great responsibility of taking care of our territorial integrity. 